Hello and greetings once again from the PTS. Today we've got a lot to cover. This video is going to be for the housing crown store items that are new coming out with Graymore. Uh, we definitely want to jump both feet into this and start checking this out immediately. I did ask Zoss to put a, uh, a tab for new things in here. We can sort by Vampiric or Orc or Red Guard or other, but it... Uh, yeah, it's just not as efficient as going through and looking for the new tab. So nothing in the clothing stations, nothing in the bunding stones, nothing in the training dummies, although that's not true. There's one in the crown store that you can feed on. Nothing in aquatic, boulders and rocks, nothing new in there. Stick with us, stuff coming, crystals, but we do want to go line for line and check absolutely everything out. Deadwood, one new Deadwood item. Uh, this is Log, comma, Fallen, Winter, Pine. This is available in the regular housing furniture, so please don't buy it here in the Crown Store unless you're on the PTS, as well as many of these ferns we're about to see. Fern, Scald, Vine, this is also available in the regular housing vendor. Flowers. Uh, I don't recall there being any new flowers. Nope. Have gone through this already once today. No giant trees. No hedges. Ice and snow. You would think we'd get new ice and snow. You would think we would get new mushrooms. No new mushrooms. Plants. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a couple new plants. There we go. Plant cluster. Uh, Hafengar Underbrush. This is also available in the Housing Crown Store. Uh, anything else in here? Nope. Okay, next. Saplings. Couple new saplings. Sapling White Pine. Also available in the Housing Crown Store. Shrubs. One new shrub, shrub wild basil, also available in the housing crown store. Stones and pebbles, no new stones and pebbles. Trees, there should be a couple of trees in here, several of them. Tree, young winter pine, housing crown store, young mountain mahogany, housing crown store. I did do a video on the housing crown store stuff, so you might recognize a bunch of this. And don't worry, after we get past this section, There'll be a lot less of that talk. Young Tree Aspen, Housing Crown Store. Tree Winter Pine, Housing Crown Store. Housing Crown Store, no, no, no. Housing Furnishing Vendor, excuse me. No, I said that a bunch of times, I apologize. Yeah, just over there in Solitude. This one as well. This one as well in the Housing Furnishing Vendor. This one as well, tree, mountain, mahogany. So a few new trees, a few new bushes, a few new things, no new vines. And there we go. I'm pretty sure that's the end of the stuff that's available for really cheap at the regular housing vendor. Uh, Vampiric Column Ancient. You'll see this all over this particular house that we're running around in. This is one of the new items uh, from the Vampiric side. Very pretty. No new statues, no new vehicles. Unless you count the achievement, furnishing vendors got a new fancy boat for 250 gold. You should check that out. Water trough, comma, full. Know a lot of people who want this one. I'm one of them. Actual water effect in there. That's going to be awesome. Dining. Lots of stuff. Lots of furniture coming in this set. So we got two basic concept here for the Nord stuff. It's all going to be labeled Solitude, but this is all Nord stuff. So there's going to be the Polished, the Rustic, and the Noble, and Ornate, and it's it's two, it's two basic concepts. So stuff that has like some intricate carving on it, and stuff that looks like a bunch of, like you're going to get splinters. But <laughs> so Solitude, Bench, comma, Polished. We got a little bit of like a little crisscross frame here. Looks like it might be able to fold up or something. It's not going to, but. Solitude Bench Rustic. Solitude Bench Rustic Long. It's a nice one. Solitude Bench Sturdy. It's got some cross beams there holding you up. 
sturdy long, so probably a little less sturdy in the middle. Probably don't use that as a trampoline. Sturdy pew, common noble. Get some nice intricate, lots of knot work in this stuff, and these are going to be our wolf heads in the knot work. You're going to see that very prominent in these. Solitude pew, common noble, noble long. So just like the short, we got a long version. Solitude pew, comma ornate. Again, we got the wolf heads on the handles here. Kind of, kind of a fan of this. Long version, ornate long. Solitude pew, comma sturdy. And a long version. Then, last but not least, least, excuse me, we have a vampiric pew, comma, ornate. They've got like this real gothic sort of pointy thing going on, and they've got a different Celtic knotwork kind of going on. But I do really like it, especially on the sides here. Just little trim pieces really kind of flush that out. As you can imagine, we've got a bunch of new chairs as well. Solitude on armchair, comma high backed noble. It's got this uh, metal and or stone kind of inlay on the front here, not so much on the back. They did throw in some uh, wood knots, which is kind of fun. And some of this uh, tongue and groove sort of decorative stuff. Solitude armchair noble, a little shorter than the high backed, same kind of thing. Solitude armchair ornate. Again, we're getting some of that knot work in the wood, which is fun. Armchair ornate low. I think that refers to the back. Back slow. The seat itself looks about the same height. Yeah, yeah, we're just talking about the back of the chair. Armchair wicker. I do like the wicker stuff. There's a bunch of it in here. And again, it kind of looks like you'll get splinters from the rest of the chair, but the wicker itself looks nice and comfy. Armchair wood, so same sort of pattern, just wicker and wood. Here we go. This one has no arms, and a wood version of that as well. A couple of vampiric versions here. Again, they've got the nice pointy stuff going on. Chair fanged. This looks pokey, but it does have a nice place for your tail to come out. And they went ahead and made the uh, the butt groove, which I don't know if you've ever sat in one of these wooden chairs that have the butt groove. It's uh, it's a blessing. It's so nice. All right, make sure there's nothing above there. And then here we are in the countertop section in the dining. Uh, solitude counter comma rustic bar. Got a couple of shelves and it's got like this supported bar overhang here it looks nice and sturdy and then a corner piece to match it so same kind of construction here but for a corner piece very nice tables lots and lots of new tables solitude sideboard comma rustic Very fancy, solitude table, comma, circular, ornate, and this is very ornate. Look at the carving in that. That's just wonderful. Solitude table, comma, circular, ornate, small. So same thing as the big one, just, you know, smaller. These make great end tables. Solitude table, grand noble. Massive detailing on the top. Just remember all those times in school while I was doodling on my desk. I'm like, man, if I had only done something more elaborate. Solitude table comma round. This one has the slats with some exterior trim going around there. Solitude table round small. Fancy schmancy. Solitude table comma rustic. It'll hold up a meal. It'll, it'll hold you while you do a jig. Rustic large, so we added some center port uh, supports and extended it. Table square, just like the round table, we've got the slats with the trim pieces. I'm sure this one was easier to make. Solitude table square low, in case you want to 
sit on the floor. Uh, if there was a weird little mix right there, that's because the game crashed and it took me like five minutes to get back in. Oof, am I right? Solitude table, square ornate. I like this one. It's got like this metal trim and riveting around the side there. Very fun. Still has that kind of crisscross thing with some nice ornate bits on the top. Solitude table, square ornate low. Same thing, just down on the ground. Big fan of that. Solitude trestle ornate. Kind of for like the back of the couch or maybe your entryway keys. Here's a larger version if you wanted to like stand and have your meal. We've got some vampiric ones and I gotta say I'm a big fan of these. Vampiric sideboard come along. Man, the, the detail on these ones, like I don't know how well it translates on the video, but there's some very nice little ornate stuff right there. It looks like this, just smaller. Is vampiric table comma circular? Love the detail on the bottom. Vampiric table comma grand. I'm definitely going to be utilizing a couple of these. These are very clean looking. I like this quite a bit. Vampiric table small. I like the little spiky bits all over the place. I wish we could flip this thing over and take a better look at it, but vampiric table square low. I'm also going to be taking advantage of this. Uh, you'll see later we've got a couple of new games. So we'll put the new games on there, I think. Gallery, art, nothing there. Display, nothing there. Mounted decor, nothing there. But paintings, oh, there are oh so many brand new paintings. Simple Five Claw Life painting gold. Uh, so the difference between these are going to be the different styles. Because uh, these are all screenshots done in like a different rendering style. And then the frames, so... I'm not going to stay too long on them, but I do want to flip around to the back. I do want to take a look at the picture itself and the frame. And they've added little details here, like you might be hanging this up with these, which is going to be fun. Warm Welcome Awaits painting. Simple wood frame. Again, the little hangers there. And this is kind of a, a swooshy paint style. Before the Trade Gathering painting, wood simple wood frame this is more of a uh, thick painting style so you, you glob a lot of paint on there the back also doing kind of the hanging clasps thing boon companion wood so these ones are going to have a little more detail you can see these these pieces on the sides here stick out just a little bit this is a one of those vampiric demon dog thingies it's got a little rope on the back um that doesn't functionally do anything but it looks cool. Catnip painting comma gold. Gold refers to the frame. Another nice little elsewhere painting. Got us a Khajiit hanging out there. Peggy frames. Contrast painting comma wood. This is of the uh, vampiric house out in Black Reach. It is wood. It's a nice simple frame, but we've got a little more detail on this particular wood frame. Again, we've got the rope on the back love that picture depths of darkness painting wood same style frame we get some uh, dwemer construction in here love these crystals i hope that those come out soon and again we got the rope on the back dockside painting silver these are fun little frames nothing to really hang it with on the back but that's okay nice swooping paint strokes on here elsewhere dome architecture painting gold Love the gold frame, all the elsewhere stuff. Little class for hanging. Elsewhere lantern, or excuse me, elsewhere landscape painting gold. This is extra, extra heavy paint. Super squishy all through the, the place here. Gold frame, little class. Elsewhere vista painting wood. Lots of these to get through. This probably looks better at a distance. I do like the, the flowers in this. Then the little clasp on the back. Eternal moment painting wood. I'm definitely going to be using a bunch of these. That looks pretty cool with the dragonfly and the lotus. Simple frame. Little metal clasps. Fields of plenty painting, comma, wood. It's the moon sugar meadows out there. Simple wood frame. Little clasp. Gargoyle guardians painting, comma, wood. Got the gargoyles up on the pillars there. 
more ornate wood piece and the rope on the back Jarl of Mornoth painting is this the first um um human subject we've had in these like we've had some animals but have we have we had a person before in any of these little class on the back slightly upgraded wood life and repose painting I feel like painting a jar of fruit is pretty common as a beginner artist and as an advanced one here's a life as art painting more black reach with the super ornate wood and a rope uh, luminescence painting wood get you a great shot of some more black reach stuff with the fabulous mushrooms and the super ornate wood and the rope on the back going down further we do yep we've got more painting of khajiit arch comma gold clasps on the back painting of nord ship wood this goes above my couch that's yeah we're definitely using that one little metal class somebody's gonna find a, a use for these being on the back here painting of the arch silver silver refers to the frame once again and there you go there's solitude the big arch underneath no way to hang it but that's okay red mist blooming painting comma wood red mist blooming hmm wonder what that's a reference to if you're a lore master let me know in the comments down below do you like the little pieces on the corner Again, we got the rope on the back. River's Journey painting, comma, silver. Cool little river vista. Nothing to hang it with. Scion's Throne painting. Uh, you're going to find a couple of these uh, throughout the vampire home. Wood, rope on the back. Silent Solitude's painting, silver. Little backed out shot on that. And you can see the light really... They got a really bright light in here for this. Still life in death painting wood. So we got some pyrostome kind of blood mist coming up out of this jar here. Nice rope on the back. Stillness everlasting painting comma wood. I really like this one as well. Rope on the back. But there can't be more paintings. But there are. The bridge of dragon painting comma wood. Dragon bridge. One of our favorite icons in Skyrim painstakingly replicated for this game the deception of light painting so you get some nice black reach mushrooms once again more detailed heavy wood rope on the back the keep painting wood really nice use of light in this particular painting basic wood rope on the back light without painting Silver. Very nice. Uh, the Scion. Strides forth painting, comma, wood. Again, extra detailed wood here. Rope on the back. Ursine wandering painting. It's, uh, does a bear shit in the woods? Well, you're about to find out. All right, so that's all of those thrones. No new thrones, hearth. A couple new things. Solitude backpack basket. These, instead of being uh, reed woven, these are going to be like bark woven looking things. Solitude basket centerpiece. This will make a great waste basket next to my desk. I like that a lot. Solitude basket ornate. Not sure what makes it ornate, but there it is. Good magazine style basket. Uh, solitude basket wicker handles wicker wide picnic basket comma wicker serving basket comma wicker remember if i click through these too fast feel free to fast forward or pause or delete or whatever you need to do solitude bread floral pattern it's nice that it's got like a floral pattern cut into it. Solitude bread long. Partial loaf. Somebody cut about halfway and got sick of it. 
Rustic Loaf. Um, probably going to be using this one a lot. The Solitude Bread Rustic Sliced. That uh, adds a lot more detail there. like that a lot. Cabinetry. We do have a couple of cabinets. Solitude Cabinet Ornate Wall. You're going to see these in some of the houses. Fancy Schmancy. Vampiric Cabinet Ornate. Uh, you can see inside of this. It gives you an opportunity to uh, put some fancy things in there or don't bother either way. Uh, the back looks pretty simple. Vampiric cabinet wall. So again, this is going to be... The pick point for this is going to be like in the center in the back of this. Cookware. Lots of new cookware. Solitude cauldron flat bottom. Fan of this one. I like that one. It's good. Cauldron hanging. Kind of a thick handle, but I'll let it slide this time. Metal empty. Good little riveting pattern all around that. Solitude frying pan long handled. Uh, this is going to be great for hanging, but it does have like some uh, Celtic knotwork in the handle there. Very nice. Solitude frying pan. Uh, comma trivet. I think the trivet's what's holding it up. I've, I've never seen that before, but I'm assured it's a thing. Frying pan, wooden handle. Huge fan of this one. I love to fry some fish up in that. That'll be fancy schmancy. Uh, melting pot, double boiler. I'm sure somebody will make a coffee pot out of that or melt some chocolate in it or whatever, what have you. Uh, gravy boat, comma metal. Uh, one small complaint about this, the little notch to channel the gravy isn't notched in the round part there. Now you've seen it. You can never unsee it. Serving bowl, comma metal. Don't know what makes that a serving bowl. Kind of looks like a piss pot to me. Uh, serving bowl, verdidris, vetidris. Somebody throw that down phonetically in the uh, comment section for me. Serving bowl, wood. It's got some nice handles there. Probably holds some bread or something very nicely. Serving dish, metal. Kind of of an ornate bottom there. I feel like this would be a good centerpiece with some fruit in it. Solitude serving dish wood. Like this one a lot. Serving tray, comma wood. I feel like there's a lot more applications than just putting food in this for this particular item. We'll have to see what people come up with. Drinking horn ivory. They went a little happy with the horns. You're going to see a lot of horns in sconces and candles and drinking implements. There is supposedly some liquid in there, so there you go. This one's covered. Not sure what the thought process is there, but there's a covered one and there's an open one with some uh, reddish liquid in it. This one's for nobles. Solitude Goblet Noble. Stein Rustic. I really like this one. The detail on this is amazing. Nice shiny kind of metal ring going around to fasten it closed vampiric goblet fluted very fancy vampiric goblet full there you go and i think that's it for drinkware game nothing new laundry nothing new meals got some new meals eggs and ham an entire plate of eggs and ham and man the lighting's super bright in here for that but here you go this will, this will calm it down this is a full breakfast Sausage, eggs, ham. Just sausage and ham. Your banquet tables will never look so pretty. Camping pot, fish stew. There's some mushrooms in there. Fish heads and tails. Solitude dinner. Hearty stew. Very delicious looking. There's a vegetable soup. And a very small plate i guess i don't know this one's kind of tweaking out a little bit when you move it around i think there's supposed to be a lot more detail on it but it's having a it's having an issue solitude meal comma rustic we got some mushrooms we got some bread we got some fish here's a full stew pot of our previous meat dish and a full stew pot of our previous vegetable dish very fancy meats and cheeses just a couple but it's worth it, I assure you. Look at this solitude platter rack of ribs. Hey. That looks awesome. Uh, solitude 
tray fresh eel for you uh, shushumi people. Shushimi? Unagi! It means danger! No, it, it doesn't though. Uh, solitude tray stockfish. So these are going to be dried fish, but they still look delicious. Pottery. Couple new offerings here. Large ceramic. Narrow metal. Stout metal. Kind of has that weird kind of mouth there. And this is wide metal. So we got narrow metal, stout metal, wide metal. Solitude urn, comma, ceramic. Has that nice dirty look, like maybe you've been aging some kimchi in there or something. Solitude vase, large sealed. Uh, produce, just a couple new pieces of produce. Solitude bowl of berries. Gotta love that. Bowl of mushrooms kind of a fan and uh, the winter winter chicken dinner right here is the winter onions look at this bowl of happiness right there that's that's wonderful here we go into the stock room we got some dried fish going on a rain barrel um is there something in there i don't know we can't move it around to find out um Smoking rack. Look at all the meats. Look at all the meats that are carrying. That's awesome. Yeah, your kitchens are about to get amazing, people. Another full wine rack. This one is Solitude Wine Rack, Common Noble Full. Love it. And then the vampiric one has nothing in it. Because. Wah wah. <laughs> I don't know. Utensils. No, you new utensils. Library. Oh, we got a couple of desks. Um, but man, we've got a bunch of shelves to go through. I tell you what, Solitude Desk. Love the drawers on this. Love the inlay on top. And they're really nailing it with the wood grain, I think. Vampiric Desk Polished. I'm definitely getting a couple of these. I don't know what's vampiric about it, but it's definitely polished. This thing's really pretty. Uh, vampiric Lectern Polished. That kind of... That goth look, look to it with some knot work on the front there. It's going to be great. Which, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, that knot work's kind of embossed in there. You can see it picking up the light in different angles. Yep. Super fancy. Literature. I don't think there's any new literature. Nope. Shelves. Here we go. This will take a minute. Do, 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 do. Just to start. Okay, so everything in here has a full version as well. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Zoss. All right, so absolutely see through. There is a front and a back. You can tell there's some metal studding on this side. So this is the front. There's no metal studding on this side. This is the back. But you can make dividers out of these. And it also comes in a filled version. Absolutely love that. Detail on the side, detail on the top and the bottom. The front has an extra detail. That's just absolutely great. Okay, narrow bookcase same sort of design also with a filled version narrow noble which means it gets this extra knot work on the top uh not not see-through has a back on it very very plain back and then a cabinet version here's the full cabinet version here's the full narrow version Uh, Solitude Bookcase Narrow Rustic. And then a filled version. Solitude Bookcase Common Noble. Noble Cabinet. Noble Cabinet Filled. Noble Filled. Really like the way they filled this one out. Solitude Bookcase Rustic. Good detail all around this. Cabinet version. Cabinet filled, leaves you a little bit of room to uh, make it your own, throw some unique items on there, and then a filled version of the Rustic. Uh, this one's kind of like the magazine rack style thing, I super like it, and then they put a couple of books on it and let you put some other things on here. Vampiric styles coming in now, but again, they're all going to have filled versions. 
Very fancy. Super useful. This is bookcase short. Bookcase short filled. Bookcase tall. I like the little spiky bits. Tall filled. And then vampiric sideboard shelves. But you could throw this on top of any of those other ones. Well, you know, probably probably just these guys. But that'll that'll make it look more fancy. Supplies. Nothing in the supplies section. Lighting. There's just a few lighting things in here. Vampiric Brazier Taloned. Candles. We've got the Solitude Candlestick in the Horn as promised. Chandeliers. Uh, this one's this one's got some issues. If you're somebody who likes to write a ticket, Solitude Chandelier, comma, Horns. Uh, only one of the candles down here is lighting, uh, has the flame on it. They're all lighting up. You can see they all light up. But only one's got the flame of it, and the chain has some flame at the tip there. Solitude Chandelier Steel. Really like this one. They've gone with the square chain links. Looks pretty awesome there. Vampiric Chandelier, comma, Amber Forged. Super pretty. Would have liked a little longer chain on that. But you can always do something about that yourself. Enchanted lights. I don't think there's any enchanted lights. Nope. Fires. No new fires. Lamps. Two new lamps. The Vampiric Lamp Amber Tall. Really big fan of this one. And then there's a uh, table addition there with triple lanterns. Do, do, do. Solitude Lantern hanging. And a table lantern here. This is nice. good for your nightstand so you don't burn yourself in your sleep. Do, do. Solitude Streetlight paired. Get the great wolf's head. And this cool cross section. Some nice stone on the bottom. There's a single version as well. And then the vampiric also get a amber lighting system here like that a lot and a single as well sconces we got a few sconces to go over uh, sconce candle sconce candle embellished so it's got a, a second layer which is kind of weird sconce horn i told you they like the horns they're, they're using the horns everywhere solitude sconce lantern <laughs> This one looks very industrial. I like it a lot. Uh, Solitude Sconce Torch, which, I don't know, I feel like a sweet roll would go well there. Maybe you don't need the fire on, but this could just be you know, a sweet roll serving system. Solitude Sconce Wolf Heads Lantern. A very ornate sconce. Anyone would be proud to have that in their house. Speaking of ornate, look at all the detail on this one wrought iron and then a vampiric amber version you'll notice the light isn't quite as white more of an more of an orangish from from what these guys have going on they have a yellow kind of look this has kind of a kind of an orangish look miscellaneous stuff one new miscellaneous stuff a charis egg comma dormant i'm sure there's some plot or something if you played some skyrim you probably know a little bit about that Banners, a couple new banners. Vampiric drapes pulled back. These are meant to be put in pairs. Drapes tall, and then here's the full assembly. Drapes tall arch. Really like this copper piece they've got hanging onto everything. That's kind of cool. Knickknacks, a couple new knickknacks. Here's that game I was talking about. This is called the Warrior and the Wolf Solitude game. Assuming that's the wolf and that's the warrior, and no idea how you play this, but the lore master's probably too. Solitude jewelry box, copper and agate. Very shiny. That's that's going on my makeup stand. Solitude jewelry box, wolf heads, uh, pyrograph. Little wood burning up on the top there. Some fun clasps. Latch in the front rubs, uh, rugs and carpets. Got a bunch of these. 
Solitude Carpet Grand Wolf Head Border. Love this thing. Definitely going to be using this a bunch. Inset Square. Large Plane. Plush. And it does look very plush. I like it. Plush Worn. Small Plush. You know, for when you get out of the shower. Uh, I'm going to be using this one a whole bunch. Solitude Carpet, comma, Wolf's Head Border. That one's super fancy. I like that a lot. Rug Cowhide. Uh, this is a round one, but uh, Rug Not Work. There's a plain version. There's a Snowbird, Snow Bear version, not bird, excuse me. You get a polar bear rug. Solitude Runner, comma, Grand Wolf's Head Border. Super fancy. If you got the space for that, oh my gosh. Seems really long. Vampiric Carpet Sigil. A Grand Sigil, excuse me. And then they cut this up into a bunch of different pieces. So we got Vampiric Carpet Large, Vampiric Carpet Sigil, Standard circular so that's just the sigil in the middle i'm a big fan of the triangle that's pretty awesome and then they got a runner which looks like two of the large ones sewn together carpets or uh couches no couches tapestries you would think there would be a bunch of tapestries there's not there's no tapestries tea tables probably because they went nuts with the tapestries and elsewhere vases no vases structures not a lot going on in here either. A little, little disappointed in that. Kind of wanted to uh, see some stuff. Uh, these are available in the regular housing furnitures for very cheap. The Solitude Fence Stick and Stick Triple. Definitely check those out. Very cheap. Racks, tents, nothing doing. Sweet. Bed, we got a few beds. As soon as we get down here, there's a bunch of beds. A solitude bed, noble double. It's probably the best of the bunch as far as the solitude ones are concerned. There's a single version of that with the snow bear option. Rustic bear skin double. This is why I said the other one was the best, because the rest of these are boxes of hay. You're gonna sleep on some hay with various different styles of blankets in your box of hay. Which sounds just terrible to me. Vampiric has this amazing canopy bed. We have tested this. You can get on top of it. Or in, in the bed. You can lay down in there. You can walk around. Vampiric bed full. This one's probably my favorite. It's because of the black blanket. I'll admit it. It's a little messy, but it looks, it looks nice. Vampiric bed single. There you go. Dividers. We got a very ornate vampiric divider. And here's what I do like. You see these triple clasps here? Yeah. Look, there's a double clasp on this side. These line up. You can put these in series and make a full circle or make a little essing dragon. And the ornate is amazing. Dressers, got a few dressers. Chest of drawers, so we got a nine drawer with the wolf's head, the metal banding. Not so much on the back. Chest of drawers wide, so we've got eight, but it's lower. Still the banding and the wolf's head. Dresser rustic. The rustics really look, really look nice and clean, don't they? Uh, rustic shelves. Vampiric dresser polished. I believe I believe there's only like one other thing that matches that desk that I was wooing about up there in the office section. So this and I think a nightstand. Mirrors. Lots of mirrors despite all the vampires. There's lots of mirrors in this. This set. A couple of hand mirrors. This one's super shiny. Look at that. It's like it's just polished gold. Neat. Noble full length. Got some uh, messed up parts here at the bottom. 
Looks like it's been well loved. A wooden version here, big fan of this one. Looks like it needs to be polished a little bit. And then a gold version as well. Liking that. Empiric mirror standing, very shiny. I'm gonna make this a surfboard, you can't stop me. Empiric wall mirror. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best serving tray they've ever made. I'm definitely going to use it as a serving tray. And it's simply lovely. Nightstands. We got a bunch. Nightstand cabinet. Nightstand drawers. Cabinet. Open sideways. Drawers. Open forward. Nightstand noble. I like this one. This little detail of having a drawer and then a couple of shelves. I don't know why, but that's appealing to me. Noble cabinet. Noble drawers, little forward drawer with the wolf's head and the banding. Nightstand round. Nightstand square. And then rustic shelves. Pillows, no new pillows. A little surprised at that. There were some different pillow styles on the bedding. Uh, a couple of chests, I believe. Here we go. Solitude Strong Bosch. Uh, strong Box Iron Bands. A um, little bit of overkill, but uh, you really don't want somebody sneaking up on you while you're taking a nap, right? So, clasp yourself in there. Strong box iron hunt relief. This one's awesome. Look at look at all the banding on that. And somebody had some had some fun. I like this one because it's got a key in it still. The wood looks a little different than other things. This is the travel chest practical? Trunk not work. Vampiric Trunk Ornate Metal. Big fan of this one as well. Uh, the Vampiric ones have triple locks. Super shiny, super clean. Nothing broken. Big fan. Solitude Wardrobe. Big old place to store your boots and coats when you first come into the house. Wardrobe Rustic. Uh, if you look ever so slightly into this crevice here, you can see inside. There might be a design opportunity there for someone very brave. Vampiric wardrobe ornate, and it very much is on the front. All this Celtic knockwork and stuff surrounding it. Um, Undercroft. Uh, woefully understocked for there being a bunch of vampires running around. So we have a couple of incense burners. This is a sensor pagoda. Fan of that one. Sensor wolf head. There's little tiny wolf heads on the side. I thought they were dolphins, but they're wolf heads. They might be dolphins. They're probably not dolphins. They're not dolphins, right? It's a dolphin incense piece. Nothing in remains. Shocking. Nothing in sacred pieces. Shocking. Nothing in torture. Super shocking. And nothing in urns. Down in the workshop, we're going to find very little as well. Other than a solitude trough empty. Nothing in machinery, because... Because... <laughs> uh, uh, this, law, this set of logs and this set of logs, both in the regular housing furniture. Solitude wagon wheel heavy is as well. Uh, pipes and mechanisms? Nope. Stools... Three, bar stool wicker, bar stool wood, foot stool wood, and a bunch of uh, unique looking tools. Let's start at the top there, make sure we're not missing anything. Solitude bucket empty, like that one. Hammer simple. Hand drill. That one looks uh, a little scary. I like these little sewing kits. Got a lot of little tiny detail. You can put them up on a countertop or something like that. It really fills up the space nicely. This is a scraper simple. A skewer twisted iron. Not positive what you're supposed to do with that. Maybe bale hay. I don't know. Solitude wedge pick simple. So there you go. Uh, one million and a half new items from Zoss on the PTS. Uh, hopefully they'll all make it to Graymore. Uh, they normally do. They normally do. 
Uh, what was your favorite? What do, what do you plan on playing with? Let me know down in the comments ba down below. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. If you enjoy this content, there are a couple of things you can do to help out the channel. First, like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you know when we put out more content. We're doing lots of PTS content this week for ESO, and you don't want to miss out. Second, join the Discord. Lots of friendly, like-minded people in there who can help with ESO-related questions. Link down in the description. And finally, consider supporting our efforts on Patreon. It is the best way to ensure the Smexy ESO housing content continues to flow with a big shout out to all of our current Patreon subscribers. Rogue, Mr. Wizard, Ishibu, Smarty, DMAC, J as in Jelly. You make the dream come true, and I thank you all. Thanks again for watching, and check out some of our other content here and here. Goodbye!